Well, the Fresno Football Club's time in Fresno has come to an end, and the professional soccer team released a statement today explaining why investors will almost certainly look to relocate the USL franchise. Let's take a live look right now to Chansey Park from our ABC 30 downtown Fresno Sky Cam. The club played its home games there the last two seasons, but league rules require teams to play in a soccer venue by their third year. Action News reporter Jason Oliveira joins us now in the studio with more about the team's pending move. Jason. Yeah, Warren and Graciela, a lot of supporters and employees of the club feel like they've had the rug pulled out from under them. The ownership group will now have the opportunity to move the club. However, when and where is yet to be determined. Just two years after arriving in Fresno, professional soccer appears to be waving goodbye to the Central Valley. In a statement from Fresno FC, club president Ray Bischoff said the lack of a soccer-specific stadium was the motivating factor in folding the team. Saying in part, from day one, we knew that Chukchansi Park could only sustain our club in the short term. The lack of revenue from concessions and parking was always going to make things difficult for us economically. Team investors, along with city leaders, worked on potential stadium sites around town, but the two sides could not find common ground. Fresno Mayor Lee Brand released this statement. I've worked with the Fresno Football Club owners and management ever since they first announced the team in 2017. And while I'm disappointed we couldn't find a suitable stadium site, I understand their situation and respect their decision. They have a responsibility to their investors, and I have a responsibility to our taxpayers. Doors of the team's headquarters were locked Tuesday as many fans were left disappointed by the decision to cease operations after playing just two years in downtown Fresno. The writing was on the wall with with the, the Coyotes, um, the Fresno Frenzy, I don't know, the Heat Wave, the Bandits. There's just a graveyard of teams that try to come through here. Uh, the Falcons, you know. So it's not surprising. I think that it could have been done better with better marketing. Nick Duong was a season ticket holder and member of the fan supporters group, the Fire Squad. He was there over the weekend when the team closed out its season with a playoff loss at home. You know, we invested a lot of time in this, and there's a lot of passionate people. There were a lot of tears at the end of the game on uh, Saturday. Now, there is speculation that the owners group will move the team to Monterey, California, but still no word from the club or the United Soccer League. Jason Oliveira, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.